Hello, welcome to vlog number three. Today we're talking about shot lists. The question of the day is, are shot lists important? What are they used for? Why use them? We're gonna get right into that and let's do that right now. So here we go. So shot listing, let's see here. First of all, you have your script together. Your script is done. You made your production script. You went ahead and did your storyboarding. Now, once you have your storyboards completed, you go ahead, you scan those right into the computer and you scan them. Once they're on the computer, you open up iPhoto. Yes, iPhoto, no Photoshop for this. Go to iPhoto, hit the edit button, go to crop, and then you select the pre-cropped uh, formats there, six by 16 by nine. Make sure it's in landscape and you just go through and you select each picture you drew, hit save, then drag it to a folder you already created. You've already created this folder because you're organized, aren't you? Yes, you have a folder already ready entitled storyboards or shot list, whatever. And once you go through each of your little pictures from your scanned PDF using iPhoto, drag them into that folder. Boom, got it, done. Now, once you've done that, next thing I like to do is line the script. There's an easy way to do this using, you know, the computer. I used to draw it out and stuff, but we're moving to that time now where we're saving the planet and all this good stuff and keep everything digital. Very easy to share it, moving right along. So I do this by opening up pages on, again, I'm an Apple person. So open up pages. Be sure to change the file from uh, convert to page layout, okay? If you leave it in a Word layout, it's gonna be acting weird when you try to make pages or whatever, but be sure to convert to page layout, which would be right there. Once you've done that, take your script, your PDF script, and just drag them in page by page. They're gonna be like pictures. You do that, drag them in, boom, they're on there. Now, it's easy. You just take a uh, shape tool, click that button right there, click the shape, make a line, boom, and you go through your scene. I go scene by scene, and all I do is just start off with, hey, I wanna get this amount of stuff in a wide shot. Hey, I want a close up here, I wanna insert here, so on and so forth. Once I've done that, through the entire script, the script is lined and ready to go. That's important because you use your storyboard for reference, but you also go through and line it to make sure you are capturing, capturing everything you want to capture to tell that story later in post-production. Now, on to the shot list. All right, so this is Shot Lister. It's a nice app I got from the App Store. Go check it out. They're not sponsoring the video. They want to, that's awesome, but they are not. It's just something I really like to use. All right, so you open up Shot Lister. First thing you do is you build your set. I always keep a character there for purposes of sizing. So with the location scout, I know that I'm outside. There's a creek nearby. I need a creek, trail, some trees. So let's go ahead and build all that. All right, that's built. Now, each time I go plan a shot, or before I plot a shot, <laughs> every time I plot a shot, I always refer back to the line script. So here's my line script. I look at the shots I've written down, have wide shots there, mediums, close-up inserts. Okay, got it, good. When I plot the first shot, I go ahead and select the camera and pick a color. The color dictates what equipment I need to use for this demonstration I use blue for tripod. Every time I see a blue camera I know it's going to be on a tripod, so on and so forth. So I'll go ahead and just plot all the shots. While plotting the shots I can put in important information about what kind of shot it is, close-up, wide shot, medium, whatever. What kind of lens do I want to use? I always go by millimeters, so put that in there. And again I like to put what gear is necessary. Tripods, sliders, what have you. So do that with each shot. As you can see right here, you can add the shot. What is that? As you can see right here, you can add the storyboard pictures to each shot. Just click on the camera, go down to insert image or picture, bam, open up that folder that's already made because you're organized with all your storyboard pictures and plug them in. This will all come in handy later when you export out the entire shot list. Okay, now that everything's nice and plotted out, you can go over here and look at the shot list is created. I have two colors, blue and green. In this scene, I'm going to be using a slider for a couple of shots and the rest are all going to be on the tripod. So I like to save the most difficult setup or rigs toward the end or in the beginning, just depends on how you feel that day with the crew's going or what kind of crew do you have and all that stuff. 
So I'm gonna put the slider shots at the end. So I take both of the green numbers here and put them at the end because I'm using green for slider shots and blue for tripod shots. Once they're in order, click up here, click this button that says renumber, boom, there's your shot list. Go ahead and save that, exit out, exit out, save PDF as or whatever, save to PDF, put it where you need to find it or put it in a place where you can go find it easily. That's done, good. And then you export it out. Once it exports out, it looks like this. It's nice and in color, it's a PDF, you can send it to whoever you need to send it to and if you print it out and make copies, easily done, just print that out and make copies. And like we did in the storyboarding video, you can easily tell which arrows mean what if you lose the color. And that is basically it. That is the shot listing process and that's how I do it. Alrighty then, so that's it for this video and this vlog today. Question, are shot lists important? What are they used for and all that stuff? Yes, they are. They are more important than actual storyboarding because without a shot list, you can just go on set and just start capturing all kinds of shots and your time's out the window. In this industry, time is money. The more efficient you can do things, the more you get hired, the better things turn out. And you just want to be organized to begin with. So yes, always make a shot list and put it in order that makes the most sense on how you and your crew can easily capture each shot without all this extra moving back and forth and setups and whatnot. So that's it, next shot list we're doing, oh next shot list, how about it? Next vlog we're doing is scheduling. We're gonna take that shot list and schedule and show you the importance of how we schedule so you can see exactly where you need to see, uh, whatever, I don't know. So when you're on set, you know exactly how to manage your time. That's the whole purpose of scheduling. So you take the shot list, you interpret that data, and you decide how long it's gonna to take to set up for each shot and how long it's gonna to take to actually capture what you need to get captured. That's it, that's the end of vlog three. 